Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> my Black Friday haul. Who's excited? So, I have got a whole load of makeup and skincare to show you guys as this is what I predominantly bought in the Black Friday sales. Now, in the past, I have gone way overboard when it came to Black Friday and buying things like makeup and stuff. I still have contour powders from three years ago for Anastasia Beverly Hills Black Friday sales, which I've still not used. So this time I was like, right, only buy what you really, really want. Restock on things that you know that you will use, not things that you think you might like and it's going to sit there for another three years and a waste of money. So I have been really smart this time round and I will explain to you all the deals, all the offers that were on, provide links where appropriate. I've got affiliate codes as well that you guys can use, which I use myself too, by the way. It's not just to share with you guys. I also use my own codes. Um, anyway, so let's first start off with The Ordinary. Now, don't laugh at me. It's still in its box. I haven't taken it out yet because I wanted to keep everything together before I did this video. So The Ordinary's Black Friday deals was 23% off of every single item that they own. And they ran this offer for the entire month of November. So it wasn't just for Black Friday. It was literally for the entire month and it ended on the 30th of November. Now what I tend to do is I tend to restock on a lot of stuff. 23% is pretty good considering that the Ordinary is already incredibly affordable. You can't expect them to do stuff like 50, 60% off. Otherwise everything would cost 50p and they'd make no money at all. So let's open this first. Oh, they just love doing that. I've actually forgotten what I bought. So it comes in all of this. Because I still have backups already, so I didn't, even with this, I didn't want to go completely overboard. So I bought two hyaluronic acids. As you guys know, if you've seen my everyday skincare routine, which you should have by now, I use this every single day. Every single morning, I use this after cleansing and toning, then I use hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is amazing because it delivers up to a thousand percent moisture to the skin, which normal moisturizing products cannot do. So I've bought the normal size one, which is 30 mil, and then they recently launched a couple of their most popular products as larger sizes of 60 mil, so I've bought two of those. I bought another one of their Caffeine Solution 5% Plus EGCG, Again, if you have watched my channel for a while, you will know that I use this every single night as part of my nighttime skincare routine, which by the way, I will film soon. Um, I'm just not sure when, but I promise I will do it. Um, basically, this reduces any kind of puffiness under the eyes. It's absolutely awesome. I use this literally every single day and have done for nearly two years. This one here, which is the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. Again, I showed me using the niacinamide by, I think it was good molecules in my everyday uh, skincare routine, but I also use the ordinary one. This one is for minimizing pores and for controlling oil. So if you've got oily skin, a spot and acne prone skin, I've got combination skin, but I do tend to get a bit of flare ups with acne and spots, which I have done recently. So this one works really well for that. So I've restocked on this. The Buffet, which is one of their peptide serums, this is amazing for hydration, for fine lines, wrinkles, texture and that sort of thing. It's a very powerful product and I tend to use this two or three times a week. I highly recommend using this serum. It works well with a lot of Ordinary's products. And then I only bought one of these because I've actually got another three in my room. This is the Azalic Acid Suspension 10%. It's for textural irregularities, dullness, uneven skin tone. And also through my various types of research, I found that Azalic Acid is the best kind of acid to use or product to use if you suffer from rosacea. And that's why I actually started using this about two months ago. I use it every single night on my nose and on my chin. It has helped a lot with the redness and it is reducing my rosacea very, very slowly. I also tend to use it all over my face as well because of the other reasons where it has mentioned because I do have texture on other parts of my skin and I have definitely noticed a big difference ever since I started using this. Right, let's move on now to Debenhams. So for those of you that don't know what Debenhams is because you're not based in the UK, Debenhams is a department store that's been around since before I was even born. They sell all kinds of things including makeup. Now I have always, always wanted to try their beauty advent calendar but either it was full price or as soon as it went on offer it was sold out. But not this time. I finally got it. I'm so happy. Let's open one now. Today is the 7th, December the 7th. I'm probably going to upload this video today so it will be 
as you see it. So basically this has got loads of different types of products. If you can see on the front it says MAC, Philosophy, NARS, Kat Von D, Benefit, um, Clarence, Clinique, L'Occitane, Elemis, NYX, Cosmetics to name a few. This retails at full price for £90 which is pretty pricey. But for Black Friday, they did it 50% off, making it £45. And I also had £15 vouchers. So I got this for £30. How amazing is that? I was lucky it wasn't sold out. I don't know what it, the deal is currently now, but I will still link it below for you guys. So when you take it off, oh my God, it's so big. And then you open it up. And here you go. Here are all the days leading up to Christmas Eve. So yes, I have opened up a load of the boxes, but what I tend to do is open up the box, look inside and put it back. It's just so that it's easier for me to store it. Look at me resting it on my shoulder like it's a beatbox. So let's see, where's number seven? Shall we open up number seven? Here's number seven, right on the end. Okay, number seven. Number seven is this NARS blush. What shade is it? Ooh, interesting, interesting. Oh, it's orgasm, of course it was. The one shade that I don't really use. <laughs> I find it actually, I don't know about you guys, but I find it a bit too light for my skin. Look how small it is. <laughs> okay. Don't even think I have a brush this tiny. <laughs> Here we go. Nas Orgasm. I would definitely say that it's good value for money once it's 50% off. But I will link it below for you guys, just so that you guys, if you're interested to see what's in, obviously, the whole thing, which I do know what is in there because I looked it up beforehand. But just in case you are potentially interested or maybe even giving it as a gift to somebody over Christmas. Right, let's move on now to Look Fantastic. Now, Look Fantastic is a online beauty skincare and accessories brand based in the UK. I am a Look Fantastic affiliate and they do, I do have a permanent 20% off code which works on pretty much all of their products, pretty much. So I'd say 98% of their products you can use it on. Now for Black Friday, they changed my code to make it 25% off and they were also doing 25% off on their entire website. So it was up to me whether I wanted to use their code or my code. I used my code, why not? And I shared it with all my followers too. So I bought these two things with 25% off. The first thing is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner. I don't know about you guys, but wasn't the Anastasia Beverly Hills Black Friday deal like on their own website this year really crap? Like I bought two Anastasia pro products but I didn't buy it from ABH directly. This is the Carly Bible palette. And again, I bought this because they had 25% off their palettes, but this wasn't 25% off. And it wasn't consistent throughout their site. Some things were had more money off than other things. Whereas with Look Fantastic, I knew I could get a straight 25% off immediately. So this one was a restock as my one is about to finish. I absolutely love this liquid eyeliner. It's one that I'm gonna buy again and again and again. It's because it's so blinking opaque and I only need to use one swipe and I get a thick black line. I never have to go back and correct anything or go over anything because it's become too um, see-through and you can still see your eyeshadow, don't have any of that problem. This one, again, 25% off, I can't stand the front. I've got tripopophobia, it's a phobia, look it up. So the front cover actually just makes me really feel slightly ill. I will do a review on this if you guys would like. And then this is what the palette looks like. This one is definitely geared more towards fair and medium skin tones because obviously Kylie, Kylie, Carly, what can I say is a simple enough name, Carly Bible is very, very fair. So in terms of the last collaboration being with Jackie Ina for deep skin tones, Carly Bible's one is for fair skin tones, but obviously if you've got medium skin tone like me, you can probably get away with it. So I'm gonna be looking forward to using this. Next up is an order that I got from Boots. Now, not everything in here is actually from Black Friday. Forgive me, I just felt like sharing it anyway. One of the things that I got was from Sleek Makeup is their brand new eyeshadow palette called Major Morphosis. This, <laughs> I think it was on offer and then it wasn't on offer. And I was just like, mm, I'm just gonna buy it anyway because I do like Sleek's eyeshadows, plus I was really excited that they finally come out with a palette which is so different to their normal classic matte black and it's obviously a lot larger as well. I will do a review on this, I promise. And this is what the shades look like inside. So I'm gonna only briefly show this because I didn't actually get this on any kind of deal like I've said. The things that I did get on offer from there was their new Sleek Life Proof Mattifying Fixing Mist. 
The reason why I really wanted to try this is because it's alcohol free. Most setting sprays tend to have alcohol in them and that's why it also kind of burns the skin slightly as well. For example, I know quite a few of you do not like the Huda Beauty Resting Bossed Face Setting Spray because it's got such a high alcohol content. So I'm looking forward to trying this. I also finally tried their concealer. I don't know why I'd never tried it before. It's called the Life Proof Concealer by Sleek and the shade that I bought is 06 Ristoretto Bianco. And the color works fine and it's absolutely excellent. It's full coverage, it's creamy, it doesn't crease, it's excellent. Also from Sleek, I picked up two of their new highlighters. This one is called Solstice Equinox and this one is called Cleo's Kiss Sphinx. Now, these are not new highlighters. These are both part of the highlighting sets that they have. I can't remember what they're called, Summer Solstice or something, and Cleopatra's Kiss, I think. So they took out, because there's another one, there's not just two, there's three altogether, but I only bought two because the third one didn't quite work well for me, is that they took their most popular shades out of their most popular palettes, and, they, they, and then they created individual highlighters uh, based on that. I also picked up from NYX then they were doing 20% off is this control freak eyebrow gel I've been using it this past couple of days. I'm using it now. It's actually pretty good And then I also picked up the NYX born to glow naturally radiant foundation in the shade beige again This was 20% off. So it was reduced from 10 to 8 pounds. It's what I'm wearing right now It's a perfect match excellent foundation you guys Excellent probably one of the best I have used throughout 2019. I've got a review on it. I filmed a review before this video, but you're gonna see this video first. So if you can't wait for that video, just know that I gave it a 10 out of 10. Right, just so you know, I have left the best and the biggest till last. Let's have a little chat first, right? So what I'm gonna show you guys is all the stuff that I got from Feel Unique. I am also a Feel Unique affiliate. However, I do not have a code, or do I? I think I have 15% off if it's your first ever order but uh, that's it but anyway so I bought a whole load of Huda Beauty stuff from there now I know that a lot of you guys got really excited about the Huda Beauty sale direct from Huda's website she did massive discounts up to 60% which is excellent now I know that a lot of people were quite angry about this because they were like well is this what it really costs then like normally like you charge us so much when the price is a full price but now you've reduced them to 60% almost not all of them a lot of them were a lot of them weren't they were all like 20 30 40 50 60 percent that sort of thing now a lot of people were annoyed now i was about to order through them and then my friend told me that you are going to get a customs charge because she had done it in the past and she's got a customs charge so i had to kind of weigh it up in my mind and i had to do maths i'm not good at maths but i had to do maths and when feel unique said that they were doing 25 percent off of huda beauty or I think it was 20% off. And then on top of that, because Huda Beauty is my brand for life, I got 30% off. Plus, if you spent over 50 pounds, you got a free pair of Samantha eyelashes. Samantha lashes are normally 16 pounds. So if I spent over 50 pounds, which I knew I was gonna do, I got a free set of 16 pounds eyelashes. Now my order was actually going over 100 pounds, but I noticed that I had only still got one pair of free eyelashes in my basket so what did I do what do you think I did this is how you save money you guys I placed two orders one was 50 quid one was over 100 quid and the reason why I placed one order over 100 quid was because if you spent over 100 pounds you got a free beauty bag containing god knows how many products that cost a lot of money so if you think about it in comparison to the Huda Beauty's own website sale I actually kind of made the same amount of savings by doing it the way that I did it now I'm not criticizing you guys that did go down that route hopefully you didn't get a massive amount of charges but because I knew that I wanted to order so much I would have been hit with a huge charge because it's all dependent on how much you order how much the products are worth and how much your package would weigh right so I'm going to show you guys everything that I got and um, the majority of the things to be honest are restocks you guys know that I absolutely love Huda Beauty's liquid lipsticks and a lot of the ones that I use often are getting right to the bottom because I'm struggling to actually get any product to come out. I got six all together. 
Now out of all of these, five I already own, one is a new purchase. And that's all thanks to you guys. It's not that I don't listen to you guys, it's that I forget sometimes. So let me show you the one that I did buy and I also bought the matching lip contours. I love Huda Beauty's lip pencils. They're very creamy, they're very intense. And because of the fact that I always tend to use them with their matching uh, liquid lipstick, I thought, well, I may as well buy them. So the one that you guys always told me to get and I always forgot was Trendsetter. It's such a perfect nude for medium skin tones. Yes, you guys have told me. I forgot, but I didn't forget this time. So I got uh, Trendsetter and then I got the matching lip contour. I got Showgirl, which is like a um, metallic liquid lipstick. I don't like metallic ones that much because I tend to find that they get kind of crinkly on the lips. Um, but I really like this one by Huda Beauty. It does not have a matching lip contour because it was this one and I believe Silver Fox which were like special edition special effects. But my one has almost finished. It's the gorgeous like berry shade. It's amazing. It's just how it's shown on the picture right here. So my one's almost finished so I bought another one. I got Cheerleader and the matching lip liner. I got a Heartbreaker and the matching lip liner. Out of Cheerleader and Heartbreaker I think I use Heartbreaker more. But regardless, I love it. And then the two that I used the most, which you guys know, because they were in my, when I did my Huda Beauty favourites video, they were in there and they've been in many favourites videos, is Trophy Wife and Icon. The most perfect pinky mauve for medium skin tones and the most perfect orangey terracotta shade. Uh, it's like a peachy terracotta shade on my skin tone anyway. I love them and I use them all the time. And then I bought the matching lip contours. Also bought another one of the Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. My shade is in Blondie. Now I have been using Blondie. Was the Blondie was the first one I ever bought and it's a bit on the yellowy side. Then I bought Banana Bread and it was too like light for my skin tone, but I recently finished it. So I've gone back to Blondie. I love the Easy Bake Loose Powder they're one of my favorite ones so obviously I bought another there was obviously absolutely no need for me to buy any of the eyeshadow palettes because I got them all so I restocked on some of my favorite eyelashes now I've said to you guys before remember in my favorites Huda Beauty favorites video I said the Camille Easy Lash so here they are as you can see they are not as uh, long like in terms of length across width ways as other eyelashes they are they are much easier to apply they're still quite long and fluttery but they're much easier to apply so i love these to use on like for like an everyday kind of look well for me everyday anyway not for everybody else um sasha eyelashes which are again some of my favorites i love long spiky ones they're very similar to what i'm wearing right now which i can't remember what it is and then one of the newer ones which is the huda beauty hoodie number 23 lash and they're called lengthy they're long they're thick they're fluttery i love them but these are not for those of you who've got small eyes if you've got small eyes these will completely dwarf your eyes you are better off if you've got small eyes and you still want that length to use ones like these easy lash ones and then all the stuff that i got free 16 pound lashes 16 pound lashes these are the samantha eyelashes which i love to use got a couple of samples the all-nighter uh, setting spray by urban decay and then this one Kerave smoothing cream i know some of you have probably used this is this actually any good for people with like problem skin that sort of thing because i have heard good things about it but i've not used this yet and then in the beauty bag this is the beauty bag and then i've got this as well with it but it wouldn't fit this is the rituals um foaming shower gel it's an ayurvedic one so i'll be interested to probably take this to the gym with me let's go through this now and see what's in here oh, 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 ha, ha. this is a rodile pink diamond lifting face mask bedhead tg what is it oh it's a conditioner probably won't use it because it makes my head itch um this one here which is a gold gel lip mask by ok it's a korean brand this sample here which is oh it's an eight hour cream it's a moisturizer. I didn't know they did a moisturizer. Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. See, the thing is, these things are great to use for traveling and stuff like that. So I'd never like turn my nose up at samples and sample size stuff because they always come in handy eventually. Uh, this one is by Emma Hardy. It's called the Moringa Light Cleansing Gel. Hugo Boss. This is the men's. Uh, perfume spray but I like it anyway I don't really care whether it's the men's perfume or not it smells good I'm using it Sarah Chapman morning facial day elixir 
Uh, the Pore Professional Pearl Primer by Benefit. Probably won't use this. So it makes me go shiny. Um, let's see. This one here, which is by Gold Fadden MD, is called the Solution Facial Detox Clarify and Clear Mask for Oily and Problematic Skin. A Glam Glow Instamud uh, 60 Second Pore Refining Treatment. And Avida Shampoo. And then this one, which I can't pronounce, is by Nux. Hule, hule, it's French, right? And my French is terrible, terrible. I'm better at German. I am going to France in the new year, by the way. Ah, vlog coming up. Um, hule prodigieuse, prodigieuse. It's, a, it's an oil. I've actually got the full size one of this. My cousin gave it to me, but I never used it. She said it broke her out. So um, she gave it to me to try, but I've been too scared. Um, anyway, so that's it. And then obviously this bag as well. So if you think about it, all in all, I made quite a lot of savings. Obviously didn't have to wait long for my orders to come as well. Anyway, so I hope you guys liked my haul. Like, comment, make sure you subscribe. And if you've bought some amazing things, let me know below. And I hope you guys are amazing and I'll see you all soon. Bye.